Hey everybody, happy day 20. We did it. We're almost here three weeks. Can you believe it? Tomorrow will be three weeks that we've been doing this so far and I'm pretty pumped. So as you saw in my video yesterday on day 19, I had that 16 ounce uh, ribeye and then I had a six ounce uh, salmon, little filet of salmon. That was great, very good. But today I break it up, it's a weekend, so I did two meals. So at lunch, here, check this out. I had a 16 ounce New York, and then I had a side of bacon. And here I am putting on my mold on salt, and here's a couple of other images there of what it looks like when I cut into it. You know, I cannot, I'll never say this, this way of eating, this lifestyle, the carnivore lifestyle is boring or repetitive because I can get different cuts of meat and different types of animals, right? And you go for different types of cuts of meat from a lamb or a bison or a cow or whatever, and you're going to have variety. Just that alone. Now, if you add in fish occasionally, um, or if the only thing you have handy is chicken, great. Just make sure you get something with some fat. Maybe you have a side of fat, um, some tallow or something like that. You can stir fry it up in there, something like that. But make sure you keep your fat at a reasonable uh, content there. I also stopped my dairy um, a few days ago and I feel great. My pants are looser, my stomach feels flatter. You know how that is when you just feel like there's no inflammation and your water weight is down and you can kind of feel your rib cage? Well, <laughs> I still don't think I have a rib cage because I haven't been this thin in so long. So, but, uh, but you, you can just kind of feel that contour of your body, right? And that is the most exciting thing about this whole thing. Just meat, salt, water, and your body will take care of the rest. Whether you're doing a one day, an OMAD, one meal a day with intermittent fasting, or a two meal a day. And just make sure that if you're just starting out, that maybe you load up. There's a whole section on going carnivore about priming with three meals a day and eating until you're stuffed. And then you back down to two meals a day and then maybe eight hours apart. And then you have two meals that are four hours apart. And then eventually you're just doing one meal a day. So just remember, if you're watching this video and you go, you know what, I'm going to start February 1st. Great. Just do a little more research like with, um, I would say, Bella, the steak and butter gal, she is fantastic. She has a wonderful group that you can join. I think it's like 15 bucks a month. I, I've been a member for a long time and I hop in and out um, um, quite often, but I'm not on there daily. But they have wonderful uh, coaches on there. Same thing with Dr. Ken Berry and, and many others as you've seen. They have these groups that they'll do these 30, 60, 90 day challenges. So remember, when I started this back on January 1st, if you can look up at Carnivore Kip, at Carnivore Kip, and he put out a request, just a random fellow that I've never met on YouTube, and I, it just popped up in my stream. So it's like, okay. And so I sent him a couple of videos, and I said, I'm in it. And he has around 300 people that's part of this 90-day challenge. I was, uh, I was number 177 when I joined up. So it was, it was great. And I'm, I'm still doing it every day. And my first week I had a couple of falling off the wagon, getting everything regulated. And then in week two, I found out something's just not right. I'm eating too much butter. But now I tell you, I, I'm into week three here, right? End of week three, I'm going into my fourth week here next week. And I just feel more definition around my sides and even my arms and my neck and everything. It just, I can't explain it other than whatever it's doing, it's working. <laughs> so, all the best to you. I hope that tomorrow is your day 1, 5, 21, like me, whatever, wherever you're at. Maybe you've been doing this for a few months. Uh, I'm here to testify that I've lost 61 pounds originally back in 2021. I gained 21, 29 back over time. But I'm now, now that I'm through 
the initial first couple of weeks here, I feel better and it's easier to say no to cravings. So hang in there, don't give up. And if you do fall off the wagon a couple of times like I did, don't worry about it. Just get right back to it, you know? Just say, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> say your, Tell yourself you're sorry and uh, say, hey, I know better and I'm excited to do more tomorrow. And um, yeah, that's it. I don't know. Sometimes I talk to myself. I'm single. What am I supposed to do? I just sit here and talk. To, <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to my phone right now. So anyway, both of you that are maybe watching, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, as I add more content and other great videos that I've seen, um, that'll be a lot of fun too. Tomorrow, I'm having lunch with my sister. And for her birthday, her birthday was actually back on January 4th, but everyone was just in different directions. So I'm going to have lunch with them. And then I'll have probably a dinner four hours later somewhere. I'm just trying to stick within that, you know, four hour eat window and then 20 hours of intermittent fasting on the weekend. And then uh, I eat within a one hour window during the week for five days and 23 hour fast. So, and it works. It wasn't easy. But after you get the hang of it and your body regulates and you're through the cold sweats and whatever your body's saying, what are you doing? Why aren't you eating sugar like every other morbidly obese fella, huh? Well, because I want a better life. I want to live a longer life. And um, I want to get rid of my young adult acne. <laughs> and uh, that actually happened when I got rid of eating spinach and all of those things. In one of my previous video videos, you'll see the title, um, Elimination Diet. And I think that was around day nine for me that I posted that. Judy Cho, Carnivore Cure, that elimination diet also was a key thing in really motivating me originally and again of not eating fruits and vegetables. And my skin cleared up, um, less brain fog and focus. And I didn't have an afternoon slump. Because I don't have a big lunch, I don't have this, this carb sleepiness like I see a lot of people do uh, in my workplace and in others, you know, out in life. You know, people that I meet up, it's like, oh, I'm so exhausted. What'd you have for lunch? Burger, fries, and a milkshake. That's a lot of sugar. You should go take a nap before you get back to work. <laughs> so maybe it works when you're 16, 18, 21. But for those of us that are in our 40s and 50s, I'm 53, um, we just can't do that anymore, you know? And if you can do it, good for you. But as we're all finding out, the seed oils that are in there, um, just what clogs up our arteries, what gives us brain fog, any type of skin, acne, rashes, autoimmune diseases, all those things have been proven at some level or another uh, at being removed from the body over time with the carnivore, even with keto. So if people just want a little more fat and they want some cheese, keto has been a great answer for a lot of people too. I have done that, but I just like this carnivore thing. I'm a busy, busy fella, right? My professional life and, and some social time that I have on my own, I just dive in and, and enjoy time with people. So never forget that. Go play bingo, go play poker, go dancing, go on a date whatever you want to do. I haven't dated in years. You know why? Because, well, A, I was kind of ashamed of myself, to be honest with you, and B, I just kept myself busy. So then I wouldn't overthink that, right? If I'm busy all the time, then gee, I don't have time to date. You know, I can make time, right? So as I regulate my health and my wellness and I lose weight, ah, <sighs> I'm going to enjoy to start dating again. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, I think if, if, if you, even if you, you don't want a long-term relationship at first and you just want to dip your toe back into it and go on a date, go buy some wonderful person a dinner and just get to know some new personalities, some new ideas, some new people. 
and bring them into your life and enjoy that. And then if something else blossoms uh, above and beyond that, then great, all the better. You're a new person because of what you've accomplished. So I'm telling you right now, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for watching this and no doubt way more videos than this. I'm just some dude in Tacoma, Washington, works in Seattle and have watched a lot of videos. But I think that more, more of us out there that are telling you this is a life-changing thing. Keto to carnivore, you know, the, the proof is in the pudding. Well, I can't have pudding, but proof is in the steak. <laughs> All right, I have over, oh, yeah, I've overstepped uh, my uh, time here. I try and keep these a little bit shorter, but I just felt like sharing that, you know? Do not hold back. I, I even held back from going shopping at the mall and buying clothes. I just bought stuff online. I didn't want to go out because I didn't want to be made fun of. Hey, look at that fat guy, you know? Because I'm still over 120 pounds overweight or so, 110 pounds. So I'm in the 270s now. I, I started here at 282. So at least I'm in the 270s and... But I still have over 100 pounds to lose, or about 100 pounds, I, I would say. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Don't give up. Keep moving. Treat yourself every once in a while to a new shirt or a new dress uh, or a new suit or whatever. A new car. Hey! <laughs> whatever your financial level is, a new home, I don't know. But treat yourself with something that you've wanted and and enjoy it and give yourself little little goals you know now i'm going to start working out as well and i that's going to be fun for me you're going to see me do some uh, resistance training and whatnot i'm i'm going to do it it's going to be embarrassing but i'm going to do it so anyway i'm going to stop blabbing here it is now uh, over 12 minutes but uh it's important to share so if nothing else, if no one watches this, except for me, then it's a video diary for me. That's how important this is for you to do it. Even if you only have five followers, 50 followers, 100, whatever it is, it's okay. I'm not trying to be some super influencer. I'm trying to help others feel as good as I do. Right, and I know six months from now, you know that it's uh, going to be all the better. So now, what has changed in me is even more encouragement to keep going. Don't fall off the wagon. Don't have that drink. Don't have. It's it's easier for me not to have sweets, but carbs. Having that steak and tater, eh, sometimes you want that. But I I've been I've been a good boy, so. We'll all see at the end of the month when I get on the scale, won't we? <laughs> and I take my measurements. Hey -o. Anyway, all right. I care about you. I want you to feel as good as I feel. And I can only imagine what six months will bring. So, God bless you guys. Have a great night. And uh, let's keep doing this every day. Let's have fun. Video Diary, Day 20. <laughs> Bye.